Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in this episode, I wanna talk quickly about inspecting a chair. Um, and what I mean by chair is like a desk chair or a kitchen chair. Um, depending upon the environment will depend upon how frequently they're infested. Kitchen table chairs are very, they're, they're uncommon in regards to how often they're infested. But if it's a desk chair, and let's say people are sitting there for long periods of time working on laptops or computers, those can be more common. And so what I want to talk about is just the common areas we find bed bugs on them and how to quickly inspect them. And so here we have a chair. Um, this is just, you know, we're in a hotel room, so this is just a chair that would be at the table within the, the hotel room itself. Again, not commonly infested, but it does happen occasionally. I would inspect them on every single treatment because they do, they do get infestations. And so what we have here is your chair. Um, obviously people would be sitting here. Usually where people are commonly going to sit is not going to have bed bugs. Where you're going to find them is the areas close to that that aren't disturbed. And so whenever I take chairs like this, the first thing I do is flip them over. And so what we have here is the bottom of the chair. And obviously you have these folds, these tufts that the bugs are very commonly going to get under. Um, and the bottom of this chair is probably one of the two most common areas that a chair will be infested. Uh, they'll get underneath those tufts and those folds. And so you want to pay real close attention to those. Uh, if there were any cracks or crevices or screw holes, those are also areas that I would look for. Remember, bed bugs hide in seams, cracks, crevices, you know, folds, anywhere that they can get away from light. Uh, here you have the bottom of the chair. Before we get to the framework, bugs would very commonly hide along that seam, so that's another area you want to pay attention to. And in addition to the bottom of the chair, the other area you want to look is the back of the chair. Uh, the back of the chair is an area that's obviously very close to the person sleeping in the chair, sleeping in the chair, sitting in the chair, and a very common area that bugs would infest. And so again, here you've got another fabric. Bugs love texture. Bed bugs love texture and fabrics, and so they would very, very commonly stand or sit on the fabric, not on this, this finished wood. And so here you have a seam that they might sit. Again, you have a seam up the side here on the fabric. They like seams and edges, darker areas, so they might sit along here. And again, you're just going to take a look at anywhere you think bed bugs might hide. Now, one of the common questions I get when it comes to chairs is that here you've got this wood. Um, sometimes there's a little piece of cardboard that covers the bottoms of these chairs, and people will ask me, well, what happens if the bugs get underneath that? You're probably going to have to take it off if you think that's a possibility. Um, again, if you're working in somebody's home, you want to get permission before you start taking their chairs apart. Um, but if there's some sort of something here that they can get underneath, there's a chance, and you think there's a problem in that chair, you're probably going to need to take it off. But again, get residents permission if, if you're going to go that route. As far as where the people would sit, um, you might want to look on the edges because obviously as people sit here, I've got a little edge over here on the fabric that wouldn't be bothered very often. Bugs might be sitting there. Um, I would take a quick look at, at, at the backing there, but I wouldn't expect to find anything because people are commonly sitting there. Um, and so that's quickly how to inspect a chair. I mean, inspections of chairs really shouldn't be taking most experienced technicians or people dealing with bed bugs more than 30 seconds to a minute. Um, not a very difficult area to inspect. And also, you know, not super commonly infested unless there's something unusual going on or it's a really bad infestation. But if you want to take a look, that's how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.